Hello everyone and welcome to another day of GSC at home. My name is Harriet and today we're going to be talking about chromatography, a process that will allow us to see the different colours hidden in black ink. For this experiment you will need a glass, a jug of water, a black felt tip pen, a paper clip or clothes peg, scissors and some absorbent material like tissue paper or a coffee filter if you have one. Cut a rectangle of your absorbent material so that it fits in the mouth of your glass. Don't worry, it doesn't need to reach the bottom of the glass, you just want your tissue paper to reach about halfway down. Take your black pen and draw a line along the width of the strip, about one inch from the bottom. Leave a small gap at each side of the paper. You may want to put a sheet of paper or a mat underneath your tissue paper to protect your table. Pour some water into the glass. Fill about halfway full. Place the end of the tissue paper with the black mark into the glass. Make sure the bottom of the paper touches the water but not the black line. Secure it in place with your paper clip or clothes peg. Leave your experiment for a few minutes to see what happens. You should be able to see the ink has moved up the strip of paper and it's even starting to show some different colours. What colours can you see on your strip of paper? When we dip the paper into the water, the water travelled up due to something called capillary action. Capillary action is a process where a liquid, like water, travels up through a solid, like tissue paper. Plants use capillary action to get water and nutrients into their stalks and stems. When the water meets the dried ink, it dissolves and gets carried along with the water. Different colours are carried along at different rates, and some go faster than others. The rate each pigment is carried along at depends on its molecule size and also how strongly it's attracted to the paper. Because the water is carrying these pigments along at different rates, the blank ink then separates and shows all the colours that were used to mix it together. This technique is called chromatography, from the Greek words chroma meaning colour and graph meaning writing. If you have different coloured pens at home, why not try the experiment again with them? Are there any changes you see to the colours moving up the paper? Let us know your results in the comments down below. Thank you again for tuning in to GSC at Home. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us on social media and we'll do our best to answer them for you. If you like this experiment, share us some pictures and your results on social media, we'd love to see them. Thanks again for tuning in and until next time, I'll see you later. Have a lovely rest of your day.